What is up, people? My name is El Jones, and welcome back to El Sasso. Today's video, I'm going to take you through step by step tutorial on how to create gigs on Fiverr. So, we start with the background removal gig. Now, if you haven't signed up to Fiverr, I'll leave a link in the description. It will be the first link in the description. You click on the link and then sign up to Fiverr and start creating gigs and make money online. Let's do it. So, before we start with the tutorial, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. Do your best and then subscribe. Subscribe, click the bell icon, like the video, share with your friends. Let's do this. Now, the first one is background removal gigs on Fiverr. Now, ask yourself, why do people need background removal? Now, the first one is that people might need it for a thumbnail. You can see that most of my thumbnails, I take out the background and it's quite attractive and it's nice. Other people that have stores online, like t-shirt stores, merchandise stores online, they mostly take out the backgrounds of their products of their raw products so that they can you know put it on their website so that's basically why someone would need a background removal service now people feel too lazy to do this because i think as of now we have so many ai tools that will help you take out the background of your products but people feel too lazy to search for these things and i'm going to show you a free website that you can use to take out backgrounds for people and then take money on fiverr so that's how we do it guys so now i have explained to you why someone would need a background removal gig on fiverr now let's move on to the next point the next point is which websites can we use to take out these backgrounds the first one is remove.bg and it's very simple what you need to do is that you need to upload your picture on remove.bg and then you click on remove background and it's going to take out your background now note that remove.bg is not for free so what are you doing? Yeah. What are them do? <laughs> Let's move on to the next one because I, I guess most people like free things. Yeah. Now the next website is hotpot.ai and this is is free. Like free, right? So that's what I used to take out the background of my images. Now I'm going to show you how to take out the background of an image and then we then use an image as a Fiverr thumbnail because when you are creating your gig on Fiverr, Fiverr will ask you to upload samples of your work as a portfolio or onto the gig so that people will know that this is what you do on that particular gig. So I'm going to take out the background and use Canva to you know position these two images. Now the first image will be the image with the background and the second one will be the image without any background or the background taken out and I just put them all together in the terminal so that it speaks well of our portfolio so that people when people see it on the gig they might be able to you know click on our profile or on our gig and make an order from us. So let's do it. Okay now so here's the website and the name of the website is called hotspot.ai so you can just type in hotspot.ai forward slash remove background. And then it's going to give you this website so to first um, upload or take out the background you need to select your picture and then you select your picture right here so I'm going to use this picture for the for the example we're doing today so I'll just click on remove that's all it's free and then it's better than the remove.bg and then we wait so let's wait a while and it's done so let's go to where we need to you know download the pic so I'm going to click on the download and it's going to download the image for us. So let, let me just click on download real fast and it's, you can see that the image is being downloaded. Let's open it and take a look. So here's the final product and the AI tool did the job very well. Sometimes it makes mistakes somewhere. It has an inbuilt editor that you can use to edit it. So let's move on to the next step. The next step is to head on to a site called canva.com. We are going to compare these two images, one with the background and one without the background so that we can upload it as our Fiverr gig thumbnail. So let me just sign in onto Fiverr and let's start doing it. So this is my Fiverr account and you can see that an example of the Fiverr thumbnail or gig thumbnail is this that you are seeing. So I'm going to click on it. You can see that I created it very nice and I did this with Canva so you can also do it can just click on it and then now when someone sees this you see the colors are bright and it's going to attract the customers to make an order from you or click on your profile this gives you impressions which will later drive you more sales right so enough from my profile let's get back to the tutorial now we head on back to canva we are logged in canva is free i'm using the free version and let me just search for thumbnail once i search for thumbnail you can see that it says youtube thumbnail 
the size of this youtube tunnel is the same as the thumbnail on fiverr so i need a blank workspace to do this i just i'll first import the image with a background so therefore the, the image that i took out the background is what i import right so the first one is this and it has the background right so i just want to zoom in and adjust some things you can adjusting is very simple you hold the point the four points and then you drag and you move move it around so that's how you adjust now the next one that we need to do is that everything is press and hold on canva we need to upload the second image that we took out of the background so let me just click on that one and you can see that it's uploading right so you see if you first go to upload and then you upload these images so let me just adjust that one too as well and you can see that it fits perfectly well now this on your fiverr gig will give your customers a fair idea that you take out backgrounds because most people just don't demonstrate anything on their gig white is too um plain so let me just choose another color like cream and let me just um adjust these ones now i i like to add text to this one it's all compulsory i am adding it if you want to add it to yours then fine so the first thing that i'll do is that i'll go to add heading test and then add heading now if you want a full tutorial on how to use canva put it down in the comment section and then i will try and make a tutorial on that one so i type in before and i'm going to duplicate this one and type in after with the one that i've taken out of the background so i'll then drag the other duplicate for before onto the next design and i'll just type in after so that's how you do it guys now from here we are going to save it so we go to where it says share on your works on your worksheet and then you click on you scroll down and then you can see download so i just click on download and um click on download right so this is going to download and it's it's been downloaded so let's look at the final product so these are the final results for taking out the background this looks nice and attractive the next thing we need to do is that we need to head on to fiverr and start creating our background removal gig which is very simple just follow the steps so to create a fiverr gig you open your profile i'll leave a link in the description you can sign up you open your profile and then you go to a section where it says gigs so you click on that one and it's going to open a new section for you that says create a new gig right so these are where your gigs will be showing in your analytics so fiverr has made it very easy for you to understand what you are doing here so it's it's going to explain the gig title category and the search tags for you so i'm just taking you through the tutorial when you get there you read all these things so that you can get further more understanding now what i do is that i duplicate the tab so that I, I i can copy people's gig like similar things onto my gig this makes it easy for you to trend because these people are already making money or making orders or getting orders from people on fiverr so i'll just type in background remover into fiverr search bar and then i'll select background remover now there are lots of people offering this service and it's very competitive by the end of the video i'm going to show you how to, you can make sales on fiverr right so um i'll click on the first one because he, he's the one ranking right this seller on fiverr is the one ranking on fiverr right you can see that she, she did the same exact thing before and after so it's very simple now it says i'll do a background remover blah 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 and we are going to copy her gigs title and then put it on mine and now note that do not copy everything as exactly as it is we have to change some things here so um it says i will background remove or cut out professionally so i want to type in i will do background removal and then clean some parts at the end and then continue because the title is what really matters the, the seo fiverr seo will get you to the top when somebody search for a background remover gig so i just want to type in i'll cut out your picture professionally i will do a background remover or cut out your picture professionally right so the next thing we need to do here is that we need to select a category so this will be in a graphic design category so you can look through all the categories if it falls under what you want to do on fiverr 
so i click graphic design now the next subcategory is i don't know what to select here so if you don't know or you have some doubt about this you go on to the persons that you are trying to recopy their gigs and then you can see that it says graphic design image editing and product image editing so this is the trend graphic graphics and design image editing and blah 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 so you go there and you do the same thing it's even popping up here so i want to click on that one because fiverr will suggest the name on a category once you you type in the title so i'll just select background removal here it's editing type right you can select a service type and i think the service the service type will be product image editing and then once you get here it will give you the option to select background removal um there are lots of options here so what best you to use while you select now the next thing we need to do is that we need to add tags to the gig now the tags are like keywords that help your gig rank on fiverr right so um let's fix the service type and the gig metadata so we select and um, product image editing right here and then we go to background removal of course we'll be taking our backgrounds so that's the full explanation it's not difficult to creating gigs on fiverr i'm going to go through each category on how to create gigs on fiverr now the tags are like keywords i said earlier so one the first one will be background removal and you can just type that one in background removal yeah so that when anybody search for background removal some of your gig might pop up right i can select cut out because you'll be cutting out backgrounds and then yeah you can if you have any doubt about this the best thing you need to do is that you need to go onto your competitor's profile the person you are trying to create a similar profile to his so you just go there and look for the keywords he's using it's at the bottom of the page so you just scroll down to the bottom of the page and let me see let me see yes so this person is using keywords here he's using adobe photoshop uh, photo edit so i'll just go back to my gig and add photo edit right so this will be enough once you are done click on save and continue now it's, it's saying that uh, i should select the purpose for this now the purpose should be whatever you are doing it for so if it's social media if it's e-commerce if it's website so you select the one that best suits you my one is brand website and social media so once you're done you click on save and continue now it'll take you to the next option that says pricing now i'm going to explain some things here to you now it says offer packages and off right so when you turn on the offer packages it gives you the three option package now when you turn it off it gives you the one option package now what you need to do here is that you need to copy the names of the packages and then put it there so you, you can don't follow my steps you can name it anyhow right you can name it uh, simple medium high or whatever you want it right so the basic standard and a premium or whatever so what you do is that the gig description you copy the your competitors on and put it here now note for tutorial sake that's why i'm copying and pasting you will need to edit your gig according to how it best suits you now the next thing we take a look at is the delivery time now delivery time is the number of days in which you deliver the, the final product or the final work so i choose one day now we then go to revision now revision is the number of times the buyer can come back to you for any changes of the work so mostly people put it at unlimited and then the source file is the final extension of the file if it's png jpeg or psd you can either select high resolution and if it's commercial using well yeah so you, here you move on to the pricing and uh, for a starter you mostly use five dollars now for for the time's sake i wouldn't go through the second the standard and a premium gig so i'm going to turn it off what you need to do here is that you need to increase like the gig so when it's based when it's one picture in the basic you can increase it to two pictures in the standard and three pictures in the premium so that's how you just increase it as it goes forward so um this is the final thing what we need to do here is that you can add extra services to this if you are 
kind of equipped to do that right so i just click on save and continue it says changes saved now description this is where we need to describe our gig right so it, to describe our gig i'll then head on to our competitors gig and then copy the service the, the because these keywords are the ones that are ranking for him so i just click on paste and once you click on paste you notice that there are some errors in it so we are going to fix it so it's not going to be exactly the same for time's sake i wouldn't fix everything because it's going to make the video very long and people don't like watching long videos so i fix in some things and you need to read through so that you correct some of the tenses and the things he he's offering that is that that doesn't best suit your gig right so the next thing we need to do is to add a frequently asked question on our gig to do that you go to frequently asked questions and you can see that the seller is providing it here frequently asked questions are the questions the buyer will would like to ask from the seller right so it says what what you need to get started this is the competitors um frequently asked questions so you copy that one you can create your own it's not necessary like you copy everything from this um the competitors gig so you click on add frequently asked questions and you paste now what the question is what you need to get started so probably it's a picture so you can compose your own i'm copying and pasting because of time's sake so once you add it at least one will do so yeah you can add more if you want you click on save and continue This is going to take you to the next option where it's, it's going to ask you for requirements and i mostly copy and paste um, the frequently asked questions to this section because the main reason for this requirement is to ask what you need from the buyer right so i will need the image of whatever thing that you want to take out the background so the next thing we need to do is that if there's any problem here you correct it right so you need to click on add and then it at least one would do right you can then click on save and continue now the last and final stage of this one is to upload the image that we created earlier so remember we created an image with the canva so you click on browse and then we are going to select the image that we need here so you click on before right and this image is going to be uploaded onto canva right remember we created the image using where is it yeah using the canva so before and then after so we go back to our gig and then you can see that it's being uploaded so let's wait for it to upload if you have a video of you taking out the background too you can upload the images make sure that you follow the requirements that fiverr is asking right so the image is being uploaded the next thing we need to do is that we need to check if the product or the image that we have uploaded belongs to us and it belongs to us we just created it so we can click on save and continue when you put somebody's image there fiverr is going to delete your account so please be very mindful it says almost there and then the last and final step is to click on publish gig once you click on publish gig it's going to be published into the fiverr system it's going to take like 10 minutes for your gig to actually start trending or go into the space for someone to make an order now if you want to make sales with a fiverr you then have to create a social media platform and then once you create a social media platform you post pictures relating to whatever you are doing on fiverr so mostly i use instagram so you post background removal stuff on instagram and then tutorials on how you do it probably on a phone laptop or any device that you have keep on posting and then once your audience grow on the Instagram, they are going to click on the link in the bio and you'll be, they'll be redirected to your Fiverr gig so that you can make sales with Fiverr. I'll leave a link in the description. If you haven't signed up to Fiverr, do your best and then sign up and start making money today. See you guys in the next one.